Hello, hockey fans, and welcome to another episode of Inside the WCHA. I'm Ryan Phelps. We're counting you down to Christmas in this strange year of 2020. And while gathering with your loved ones, be it in person or virtually, remember to look us up on your favorite social media sites. We're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube as well. And here's a great gift idea, a subscription to flowhockey.tv. There you can sign up for monthly or season passes. It's another short week, so let's get right to the action. We'll start with a home and home with Ferris State and Bowling Green. And man, it's good to see the Bulldogs back in action. They're in their home whites, but on the road to start on Friday. And the Falcons are terrible hosts. Pick this one up early second period, still scoreless. BGSU in transition from their own and long past Taylor Schneider to Alex Barber. He nails one, his third of the year. And it's one nothing Bowling Green. About 10 minutes later, Orange on the attack again. Ronnie Salmon, Kangas in net, makes the initial save, but Seth Fighton with a beautiful wraparound. That's his first career goal, and it's now 2-0 Falcons. Still 2-0 late second period, Ferris State now on the power play. And look at this, Lucas Finner dribbles in, takes the shot, Jake Willits on a midair, bangs it home. That's his first of the season, a power play goal. Cuts the lead to one as we head to the third. Same score, same setup. Lucas Finner winds up a blast. Cole Norris is there for the putback. That ties things up two to two as we head down the stretch. And this is just a beauty. They get it to Will Cullen at the point. Max Johnson is there for the redirect. Cullen's fifth assist, Johnson's fifth goal of the year. That's the game winner with just 12 seconds left. 3-2 the final score. Bowling Green wins game one on Friday. Same two teams in Big Rapids, Michigan this time. Same start as Bowling Green gets on the board in the first with Max Johnson sixth of the year. And like Tom Petty says, they don't back down. Bad bounce for the Bulldogs. Alex Barber takes advantage and he bats home his fourth of the year. And it's now 2-0 second period. Cameron Wright would make it 3 0. And now, midway through the second, Ferris State on the power play. And look at this beautiful move. Ethan Stewart, the junior, his first career goal, drags it from behind the net and puts it home. That makes it a two goal game, but that's as close as they'd get. Cameron Wright adds his second of the night, fifth of the year, 6 2, the final score in this one. Bowling Green with the sweep. They are 6 1 on the season. Let's head to Northern Minnesota, Michigan Tech at Bemidji State. The Beavers back on home ice again in their white sweaters. And it feels good to be home midway through the first period. BSU on the attack. Elias Rosen just throws one at the net, hits off the hip of a defender, winds up in the back of the net, and the Beavers are up 1-0. But that wouldn't last long, just two minutes in fact. And make a note of this because it does not happen often. Zach Driscoll with the unforced error comes out front to Trenton Bliss. He scores his first of the year to tie things up. Up at one. And then Bemidji State takes over in the second period. Less than a minute in, Brendan Harris with his first of the year. Brendan Player Harris turns that. on the Jets, two on one. Harris shoots, scores! Oh, what a quick release, Brendan Harris. 14 17 to play here in the second period. The puck in the right side, Trent oh, shot, he scores! Ethan Samoza. A tough angle for a goalie to control. And that's exactly what happened. There's another, another one. one. Shoots and scores! It's 5-1 to one Bemidji State before Carson Bantle scores his first career goal. 6-3 to three the final score on Saturday. Bemidji State takes game one. On Sunday, we pick it up to start the second period. Just 14 seconds in, Justin Misiak with a laser from the top of the circle. That's his first, and it's one nothing visitors. Tech not done. Midway through the second period now. This one off the offensive zone. Face-off win. Back to Colin Swoyer. Sends it up to Trenton Bliss. Beautiful move on Driscoll. Bliss with his second of the year, and it's now 2-0 Michigan Tech. They would get the insurance goal they needed in the third. Jake Crespi with his first. Left wide open out front. 3-0 the final score. Michigan Tech and Bemidji State split the series, both hoping to keep things rolling with in-state rivals this coming weekend. That brings us to our Players of the Week. The WCHA Ford of the Week is Max Johnson from Bowling Green, who totaled three points on the weekend while the Falcons swept Ferris State. Johnson scored a goal in each contest, including the game winner on Friday night, and he now has six goals through seven games. 
Our Defenseman of the Week is Colin Swoyer from Michigan Tech, who led all WCHA defensemen in points with two assists on the weekend. The junior tied for the WCHA weekend lead in block shots with five and finished with a plus two rating on the weekend. Our goaltender of the week for the second straight week is Blake Pietela, also from Michigan Tech, who led the conference in goals against average and save percentage. He was the only WCHA goaltender to record a shutout on the weekend, as he blanked BSU on Sunday for his first career shutout. And our Rookie of the Week, BGSU freshman Seth Fighton, who recorded two goals on three shots over the weekend. He began the series Friday against Ferris State by logging his first career collegiate point with a goal and followed it up with another on Saturday. That's it for now. We'll be back with more next week. In the meantime, check us out on our social media sites or log on to flowhockey.tv where you can sign up for monthly or season passes. This has been Inside the WCHA. I'm Ryan Phelps.